transformers. A transformer consists of two coils, either interwoven or linked by an iron core. A changing EMF in one induces an EMF in the other. More the terms turns, the more the voltage induced. The ratio of EMFs is equal to the ratio of the number of turns in each coil, where P is for primary and uh, where P is for primary and S is for secondary coils. There are two basic types of transformers: step up and step down. Step up transformers is the kind of transformer that steps up the voltage that is applied to it. It has more turns in the secondary than in the primary. A step up transformer is needed to use a 220 volt product in a country with 110 volts supply. A step down transformer is a transformer that steps down the voltage applied to it and has more turns in the primary than it is in the secondary. A tra step down transformer are the transformers that you see on the poles that bring uh, voltage to your house. Energy is conserved in a transformer. Power in has to equal power out. V in, I in equals V out times I out. So how do we use transformer? Electrical energy can be transported economically over transmission lines when the voltage is high and the current is low. This is because transmission, lose, transmission losses are proportional to the square of the current. Thus, high voltages permit the use of low amperages, which in turn result in less heat loss in a transmission line. Hence, the current from the generator is set, set up to step up transformers where the voltage may go to 300,000 or 400,000 volts. On the, other end, on the other end, other transformer steps the voltage down for con uh, distribution to the consumer. So the step up transformer will be placed at the grid station and step down transformer will be placed at the house. So now let's do an example. A transformer inside the power supply for a portable CD player has 500 turns in the primary coil. It supplies an EMF of amplitude 6.8 volts when plugged into the usual sinusoidal household EMF of an amplitude 170 volts. How many turns does the secondary coil have? If the current drawn by the CD player has an amplitude of 1.5 amps, what is the amplitude of the current in the primary? Okay, so in this case, it says a CD player has N primary equals to 500 turns. And EMF primary is 6.8 volts. And it has a sinusoidal threshold of EMF 170 volts. Okay, so we have to find the secondary coil, the number of turns in the secondary coil. Okay, what do we know? We know E2 over E1 equals N2 over N1. Okay, if I convert this to P and P, it will make my life a little bit easier. So then all I have to do is plug in the numbers. I get N in the secondary equals NP E2 divided by EP. Plug numbers in, it will be 500 times 6.8 volts divided by 170 volts, and you get 20 turns. Okay? Part B. It says the current drawn by the CD player is 1.5 amps. So what is the amplitude of current in the primary? Okay. So I can do I1 over I2 equals E2 over E1, which is equals N2 over N1, or primary, 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 however you're more comfortable with. So this implies I primary will be equals to E2 over E, uh, oops, E primary times I2. Given that I2 is 1.5, I can plug numbers in and I get 6.8 volts divided by 170 volts times 1.5 amps. It gives me 0.060 amps. And that is the current in the primary.